everybody welcome back to Pat Mamacita. So in today's video we are doing something extremely exciting and we are going to a plant extravaganza or it's called the Big Texas Plant Bazaar. I'll put it like a little picture here. I saw it on Facebook and it's literally in my town that I live in so I'm here already and it is super packed. But they're going to have like a gajillion plants and vendors and Steve's Leaves is here. I don't know if y'all know him. If you're from Texas, you have to know him. But he is a local, or not local, but like he's in Texas and he has a big online plant shop. Awesome plants. But he's going to be here in a pop-up tent. So I'm so excited to go check it out. But we are here and I'm going to hopefully get some good footage for y'all. So let's get going. And here we are. This is the first area I am going to. It's the Steve's Leaves collection. They brought a whole bunch of Monstera Albo and this one right here was absolutely stunning. It had amazing new growth and a lot of variegation. These were going for $2.50 each. They also brought some Stilts Bacana which is awesome to see in person and they had a whole shelf of Hoya. And over here they had Silver Satin Jade which was so beautiful for $40 some begonias and terrariums and the next shop I hit up was E&E &E Plants which is a local plant shop and I did actually make a purchase from them because they do always have awesome selections they had a lot of monstera as well and philodendrons all sorts of variegated monsteras oh it was so awesome to see in person I've never seen a lot of these plants in person before and down here they had some Silver Hero and Cloud Skindapsis. And now we are in the main Wild Roots Nursery. They had these tiny baby El Choco Reds. They had awesome Philodendrons. And look at this, you guys. It is so huge. I believe this is the Mint Monstera. They also had Silver Cloud Skindapsis, which is awesome. They have this humongous Thai constellation, which is absolutely stunning, and goals. And here are all the Hoyas that they have. They really do have good deals on Hoyas if you live near New Braunfels. I would hit them up if you're a Hoya lover. They have all sorts of varieties, like Mathilde and uh, Variegated Hindu Grove. Hey y'all, hey so I am all done at the plant event. It was so much fun. Uh, I can't believe it, but I'm like on adrenaline right now, but it is super hot out here in Texas, but, and humid, so, but, you know, the plants were loving it. But, but anyways, I am back in the car. I have made it back an hour and a half later, practically. Um, I did want to share with you guys. I'm gonna try to see where I can set my camera up. I wanna share with you guys what I got. I did actually make some purchases. I was a good girl, though. There, even though there was a lot of stuff I would have gotten, like the, um, the what was it, the Monstera Albos. They had so many of those. Um, there was a really huge hanging basket of Mikeins, but I already have one. Even this girl I was talking with, we were like convincing each other that we don't need it we already have one just leave it for someone else <laughs> but it was so awesome it, i ended up getting a type of micans anyway that's kind of why i didn't do it i got it from e and e plants they are from san antonio but they do have online i think i'm pretty sure they do they have an online shop as well called e and e plants but let me try to get this girl out of here so i can show y'all what i got she is gorgeous so gorgeous but look at this this is a halo micans so it does have variegation on the edges of the leaves which is so gorgeous there's a lot in here so there's a lot of potential um oh yeah ignore my little they gave this to me for free but um, i'm not gonna show that because <laughs> i can't really show it on youtube but yeah this girl was um i think she was 25 dollars so that's a good deal i think so this is actually the only plant I ended up purchasing. I did end up getting other items from another um, little plant setup. They didn't have, um, they weren't selling plants, but they do have like little, um, what do you call it? Like little s sticks that you like kind of stick in the soil. Um, they are, this is their name. It's called Ficus and Blush Designs. And this is their name right here. 
They're so friendly and so kind there as well. But these are the little things I got. I'm going to use them for little plant decorations. But this one right here, this one says emotional support plant. Which is so cute. And you just kind of like stick it in like your plant like so. And then gorgeous and thriving. Which is super cute. And I said this one too. I will survive just so adorable but yeah that is all that I ended up purchasing surprisingly but um like I said I am moving soon so I didn't want to overdo it you know but yeah that was so 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 much fun I loved seeing all the people going crazy for the plants like I do and it was just, it was really 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 packed so it was a good turnout which is awesome and I did want to thank Wild Roots Nursery for hosting this event this is so cool and I hope that they continue to do it because man it's awesome to see the plant community come together like this this locally and yeah it was just a whole lot of fun and awesome plants and a great experience but anyways that's gonna be it for today's video I hope you all guys enjoyed coming along with me it was so much fun go ahead and give this video a like to support my channel and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it if you're into planty things and I'll see you on the next one bye